It's time now for the PHL 11 a.m. news report for this Wednesday morning. Wednesday afternoon, January 14th, 2015. Good morning and afternoon, everybody. I'm Peter Wiggins here. Your 11 a.m. news at 9 there, and our top story at 11 o'clock in the morning time here is. In Beirut, where Al-Qaeda's branch in Yemen expended Wednesday on its theme of responsibility for last week's massacre at the satirical French newspaper, Charlie Hedebo called it a blessed battle of Paris carried out as revenge for publishing images. Air Asia plane carried 162 people disappeared from the radar on December 20th, less than halfway into a two-hour flight from Subak in Indonesia to Singapore, as Air Asia fuselage found the Java Sea official said. Crash has been inverted. Aboard the U.S. section of the International Space Station, where a toxic leak broke out early Wednesday, forced the astronauts to evacuate and take refuge with the Russians. In Boston, a U.S. judge on Wednesday rejected a latest plea by lawyers for accused Boston Marathon bomber Joe Hart Zarnab to pause jury selection for his trial due to recent attacks in Paris. Stocks doubled at early trading Wednesday after a week reading on December retail sales at a profit miss from J.P. Morgan and added to investor worries here. As it now, Jones. Industrial average 17 for 29 but 85 so far down 23 for 83 SP 500 2006 point 26 down 16.77 and NASA 46.34 for 92 down 26.58. Pope Francis in the second day of a week long visit to Sri Lanka and the Philippines. In Paris, France ordered prosecutors around the country on Wednesday to crack down on hate speech, anti Semitism, and criminal and fine terrorism and answered that. 54 people have been arrested for these offenses since the Paris terror attacks. In Magari, Nigerian security forces repelled an attack by Islamist rebels on the northeastern town of Bayou on Wednesday, killed several of the insurgents, witnesses, and the military said. In Monroe, Louisiana, a Louisiana woman whose preschool daughter died in a house fire while their mother was having her hair done has been charged with two cats of negligent homicide, a 40 said. A noir man claiming to be the devil speaking to him told the FBI that he had complicated the shooting of a poisoned speaker John Bader at DHC revealed on Tuesday according to WCPO and the Kansas City Star. Former Oxford Governor Mike Gagami has jumped on the Obamas for letting their daughter's list at Beyonce, which he describes as having got X-rated. In Washington, a House Republican plan to roll back President Barack Obama's immigration policies as tension off usually vocal opposition from centrists and the party who are concerned that measures have gone too far. U.S. holiday sales rose 4% from a year earlier, making the biggest increase since 2011, even amid signs of a consumer spending slowdown in December, according to the National Retail Federation. Wells Fargo and Company, the most valuable U.S. bank, said fourth quarter profit rose 1.8%, and straight in the U.S. economy boosted lending. Washington, the administration of the Obama administration pushed new regulations when they aimed at cutting methane emissions from natural gas sector, called the proposed rules and needed sector to address global warming as the United the state's industry groups warned the move. Facebook is doing everything it can to monopolize. GoPro took a tumble on Wall Street yesterday amidst reports that Apple had secured a patent for a portable digital camera and risk board remote, but GoPro shouldn't panic just yet. Miley's Transformers may not do well in the Oscars, but the Bazzies love movies about the Earth destroying contraptions. Hey, it's not easy to write three Avatar sequels at once. That's what director James Cameron says. The writer-director announced Wednesday that his upcoming much-anticipated Avatar follow-ups have become such a complex writing job that he's pushing it. After Bradley Cooper arrived at the Washington premiere of the movie, American Snapper at Brooke Theater at the U.S. Navy Memorial in Washington on Tuesday, as Snapper's widow struggled with having him portrayed in film. A space is a carnivorous picture plant from Bonio lets a few ant scouts escape so that it can nab a bigger meal, says Santos. When it comes to determining the size of giant squid and other large sea animals, humans have a tendency to exaggerate, a new study suggests. More than 10% of the patients in the U.S. get a low dose daily aspirin to put off a first heart attack or stroke are likely to have been recommended the drug improperly. Studies of bisphenol as the chemical compound sometimes used to replace bisphenol A in BPA free plastic products, found it disrupted not only the body's hormone system but the brain circuitry in developing animal embryos. In sports news, the Raiders on Wednesday expected a striker deal with Jack Del Rio to be their new head coach. It was a grueling two weeks of interviews after Woody Johnson had selected Todd Bowles on Tuesday night as his fifth coach in 15 years they zoned the Jets and Mike back again in his brand new fifth general manager in the North Bowles as well. 
Basketball star LeBron James returned to the Cleveland Cavaliers lineup on Tuesday after a two-week injury absence, and he's already drawn attention if he was seen pushing head coach David Blatt during third Tuesday's game. As our state took the national title, and they witnessed the first ever college football player, it's time to look at the next season here. And tonight, the Boston Celtics will be at the Garden at 8 o'clock tonight, taking on the Atlanta Hawks, while the North Lancers hockey team will be at Foxborough Sports Center tonight, taking on Foxborough at 8, 10 p.m. Peter Channel News, I'm 11.05, 10 and a half for Trevor Porter, and one. Slow spot, Route 3 on the northbound side is backed up from 139 in Marshfield all the way down through Route 53 in Hanover. So expect little delays around that side of Route 3 here in Marshfield and Hanover here. And we got 495 on the southbound side. It's backed up from Route 62 in Hudson down through Route 290 in Marber here. And Route 3 on the step on side. A little incident around Sagmore as you approach Route 6 on the step on side of Route 3. So expect some delays there. And up in Manchester, Rancher on 293 here. We got slow spot from exit 5 in Granite Street all the way down through Route 3, Queen City Avenue in Manchester, Rancher. And that is because. Um, motor vehicle accident on 293 southbound between the exits 4 and 5, so if you're in that area, expect some delays here. Peter Channel News Time is now 1106 here, and it is time now for a low weather report here. By today, scattered for before noon, then a slight chance of snow showers. Five scouts have a 28 degrees, left off wind, chance of precipitation 20%. By today, a chance of snow showers, running between midnight and 4 a.m., most of the sky are lower around 17 degrees, not wind about 3 to 5 miles, but chance of precipitation 30%. Little no circulation expected. By Thursday, a slight chance of snow shadow before 11 a.m. Most of Costco have about 32 degrees. Light north wind, chance of precipitation 20%. By Thursday, most of Costco have low about 20 degrees. Calm wind becoming southwest wind 6 miles per hour in the evening. By Friday, most of Costco have about 32 degrees. West wind about 6 to 11 miles per hour. is 29 miles per hour. By Friday, clear sky low wind 7 degrees. By Saturday, most of Santa Cruz have about 20, low about 23 degrees. By Sunday, we have 30% chance of showers with mostly clouds sky about 46 low about 27 degrees. By Martin Luther King Day on Monday, most of the sun to park sky about 35 low about 15 degrees. By Tuesday, most of the sun sky about 30 degrees. Not temperature standing at 22 degrees overcast skies and get a hazard weather outlook. Ocean effects, snow showers continue as light accumulations are possible with totals under an inch and in one location. Visibility may be hampered at times down to a mile or less at times of snow accumulates making of our hazardous travel conditions here. And that is going to be it for the Peter Channel 11 a.m. news report on this during 14, 2015 on Wednesday. Peter Wings, you have a good day, and I'll see you at 5 o'clock for a new report. Have a good day, what a good Friday to you here.